you um, it surprised me that I read that actually you get pretty nervous before you do things mm. and it's getting worse. Because I yes. have thought someone like you, especially you actually, because you're very confident, and you just sort of think, I can't imagine no, you ever feeling like I'm that. I'm not, don't you get nervous? Oh, I do, yes. Well, there you are. And you should. Yeah. You should get nervous. I think it's, it's good because it makes you crackle a bit. Right. And I can see you're crackling. But, I'm very but, nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried about that. <laughs> um, the, uh, the National, you would love to do something at the National. I would. And if there's anybody watching from Call the Midwife, you'd like yeah. to do that. Uh, you'd be perfect in there. I can't believe it. They are why. so good, aren't they? Oh, look, All those girls. This is what you'd look like. Look, We've there done you go. a very bad sort of <laughs> head stuck on there. I think, I think I you think we could try should be in better. casualty, actually, with that neck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think that quite fits, doesn't does it? quite work. I saw myself more as a nun than a nurse, to be honest. Yes, yes. I think the wimple could hide a lot. But you, you'd, so you'd like you would like to do that. I love that program. I think they are all majestically brilliant. Yeah. You've got fine actresses, mm. Jenny Agatha and, and Judy Parfit mm. and Linda Bass. I mean, they're fabulous actresses. So I want to be there. If so possible. that's uh, that's a direct appeal to the production team of Call the Midwife. We yep. have someone here who would very much like to be. Uh, to There's be no here. end to what I would do to get on that program. Well, there you go. Phil's, Phil's head's full of things now. <laughs> well, I can uh, unfortunately, I can't it. get you on. That's the best I can do. <laughs> I <know. so. laughs> but I love it. We tried to give you a pat and a helping hand the last time you were on when it came to uh, 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 appealing directly to the team at Call the Midwife. Have they called you yet? Not a titter. Uh, <laughs> not a, not right. a thing. We're going to need to do more. I, can't I don't know what I have it. to do. Show my scarf. <laughs> that's anyway, but, so that's uh, medical. <laughs> it's medical. <laughs> no, if I don't get to do it, I can I can survive, but I just admire the programme so much. Yeah. Well, and the actresses. On, what are they thinking? I know, it's a no-brainer. This is twice we've no said brainer. it now. You're missing out on Miriam Margulies. Are you joking? <laughs> Right, let's hope that happens now. Thank you. We almost had an issue with the ice cream. That was almost a row. It, it was. Miriam nearly kicked off. <laughs> we were both given our uh, our ice creams, and a little voice behind us went, "I want one." <laughs> And then when, when very quickly the team rustled up another ice cream together, I had to swap over because my one was bigger. Yeah, so that, Holly's got a, a bigger one than I have. Wow. I like Are you happy, flavor. Miriam? Is that good? Oh, well, me. Oh, good. I don't want the flavour. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> it's like one of my kids <laughs> winning a BAFTA in 1993. Put it on there. Oh, yeah. There you go. Thank you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's all gone to pot. Uh, now, Miriam Margulies is uh, tr trekking to uh, one of the top beach destinations in Europe, actually in Cornwall, as she mm. sets off on a great British walk. It's around the, the Cornish coast. She's here now to explain um, all, uh, you all about it. You could be in Cornwall it. now with an ice cream sitting on That's, the beach. I love see? it. It's, it's, it is the beach. It's holidays. Yeah. The ice cream's always been like that. Um, well, you could keep... I have no intention of taking that off for you because well, I think... I should you're... bloody hell <laughs> Because I think she break my fingers. <laughs> so, um, so you carry on with that. So this is Madame Rubenstein. Yeah. And uh, and it's at the at the Park Theatre. And you say that this is the most terrifying thing you've done. It is because she was an elegant woman. You've got a tiny bit on yeah. your lip. Yeah. There. I, I'm <laughs> surprised it's not everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she was an elegant woman. <laughs> <laughs> Up well, it's, you know, this is live television, what can I tell you? Um, and it's difficult for me to, to be elegant. No. I'm not an elegant person. <laughs> I wish I were, I would love to be. It just didn't work out that way. Mm. We'll leave Trump and his family out of it, but the actual people that voted for him, once you get to know them, they're rather delightful. Not all of them, but they're... They're fascinating and different, and I found quite depressing. But did you did, did you change your tone a little bit there? Didn't you describe the people who voted for Trump as the enemy? Yes, and they changed me. I didn't change them. I learnt from the, from this trip. So what did you learn then? What was it? I learned that you've got to not be dogmatic, which I am, to be more generous, mm. to allow people to come to you and to try to understand them. I learnt a lot from it. Well, you saw... And now I'm quite, quite perfect. Now, good. <laughs> good. We always thought we were. Uh, yeah. When are you having your, uh, your knee done? My knee, uh, I'm having it done on May the 11th at the National Health... It's called Swellock in Epsom. OK. It's, it's the Hips and Knees Kingdom 
of oh. the National Health is Service. It? Yeah. Oh wow. Uh, and uh, and so uh, is that why you've come? But you've come back from Australia, and then you're going to yes. Then I'm, I'm going to be there. chopped. Yeah. Oh gosh. Well, good luck with that. I know. I'm a, I'm scared, but I know it's necessary. Yeah. You know exactly. Yeah. No, it'd be absolutely fine. Eamon, who uh, who also <laughs> hosts the show. Oh, how is that boy? He's yeah, fine. He's oh, bless he's him. Great. He's just had his hips done. He's put on a bit of weight. No, he's lost it. He's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, he's lost. He's had his hips done. Oh, that's good. He's really. He's getting back to full mobility. No, no, no. And he's back here tomorrow. Actually, it's his first day back at work after he's been. Give him a squeeze. I will. We will. I think you're going to say give him a slap. <laughs> no, a squeeze. <laughs> and then a slap. In actual fact, you'd much rather be in rehearsals. Well, I would, actually. <laughs> and I need it, you know. I, I, I should be in So it opens on, Hall on Halloween. Yes, which is scary enough. <laughs> and uh, are you all ready for it? No. <laughs> I'm... I'm behind. Are you? I'm all behind, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I really am. Bit of the series in the is. out shot in the Outer Hebrides. How did you know that? Oh, I think well, you it might, is. It you is. Might have told us actually. <laughs> I probably did tell you. I forget what I say sometimes, and it's probably better I. You actually did about four minutes of your research chat with our team with the, with your Scottish accent. I know it was sort of showing off, really, <laughs> but I can't help it because I I heard it all my life. You know, I grew up listening to that sound. It's actually the south side of Glasgow. It's a particular sound. And I just love doing it. I love feeling that memories coming all around me of my father, whom I adored, oh. and my mother, of course. You know, well, she was not <laughs> Scottish. She was from Liverpool. Can you do that? N no. I'm not going <laughs> to... I'm not going to go... What do you think this is? I'm not... Uh, Mike Yarwood, if you remember him. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm our... thinking about Scotland. I'm not thinking about Liverpool. I could do it, but I need a bit of a pause. I you know? understand that. <laughs> but, I mean, our researcher may have made something of a mistake when she was talking to you by saying, in actual fact, there was a there's a touch of the Maggie Smiths about that. And they had the McGonagall. Well, I I think my Scottish accent is better than hers. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I do. But I know what she was trying for. Um, anyway, we're Glasgow and she was trying for Edinburgh. Mm. But not that I'm rubbishing Maggie Smith because she's a great lady. <laughs> I'm getting scared of her, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be scared of her, not of you. Of course, she's, she's quite something. Is she? Yes, but mm. I, she is a great ornament to our profession. Mm. We're very lucky to have her around, yeah. actually. That's true. Um, once you don't uh, tell her what I say. No, 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 no apart from the fact you're on the telly, but it's OK. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I forget that. You, when you Look, by the way, this pumpkin's going off, isn't it? <laughs> I know, I think it's, it's a meant new to fashion. look like that. Oh, it's meant to yeah, look yes, like it's that. Yes, oh, yeah, it's fashionable. That's a, that's a sort of Oh, pumpkin. I see, it's... Oh, is it? Do you want to keep that one? No, thank you. Okay. <laughs> I can't stand the whole thing. I can't bear it. What, oh, what, Halloween? Halloween? Yes, the whole thing. I think it's an invention. Oh, do you? Yeah, in American invention. I loathe it. And so, but the other the other festivals are, are okay. The, the, well, you know, are Christmas you... is fun. Yeah, it's food. Yeah, and do lally do do uh, what, what do uh, Diwali. Diwali. No, do Diwali. Diwali. <laughs> do lally's the other thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not politically correct. No, it's I'm not. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll get away. With I'll it. have my sari snapped. <laughs> You'll be packed out, I'm, I'm absolutely sure, and packed it's out. lovely to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miriam. Thank, Thank you, Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> and I want to wish you, all of you, uh, what is it, a happy 10th anniversary? Yes, yes yeah. Nobody knew, nobody knew that you were that close, actually, but <laughs> it's lovely. And... Miriam, what would you like to say to Phil I'm and Holly? I'm thrilled. Well, I'd like to say thank you and bless you, and I hope you keep going. I hope you can gather the energies yet again, because it's remarkable what you're doing, you know. I mean, you all sounded completely bonkers just then. <laughs> I, I couldn't quite make out what was happening. It seemed to be a penis lying around. But anyway, uh, whoever it belonged to, uh, all the best. <laughs> uh, and that Miriam, is why you, you are you, our favourite guest. You, yeah. uh, you come on the show a, a lot and you come and see Philip, uh, Philip and Holly quite a bit. What is it you enjoy so much about coming to This Morning? Well, they're such darlings, you know. They seem to be genuinely interested in everybody they talk yeah, to. Yeah, we tend that to and everybody. And that's quite rare. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, when you're watching it, I mean, coming on the show is gorgeous because they treat you well and they're, they're sweet and welcoming, and I, I love it. 
I love coming on, but and you get free when ice I cream. watch it, I'm always <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Don't interrupt, darling. I'm talking. <laughs> and, um, yes, darling. You tell her, Miriam. You've been told that. <laughs> you carry on, love. Carry on as long as you want. <laughs> the show's yours. No, but, uh, <laughs> the funny thing is that I've actually always wanted to meet Ant and Deck. I believe that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I can't meet you. <laughs> We'd love now, to meet because you. I'm far, far away. But when I come back one day, perhaps I'll get to talk to you, even on this lovely show that, well, that you're on so. now. We'll get our people to talk to your people and we'll see if we can sort something out. How did out this there. end up being about you? <laughs> <laughs> just us, just us, guys. Miriam, thank you very thank much. Miriam, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Have a so time in Australia. Oh, you. It's, it sounds like it's going to be huge anyway, so it will end up somewhere. Uh, somewhere. You are really trying to get your tongue right into that, aren't you? <laughs> well, that's what tongues are for. <laughs> <laughs> and this is, um, and this is the, the life of uh, Helena Rubenstein, the cosmetics <laughs> Entrepreneur, um, it, so it's all very glamorous. So it's 1950s Manhattan. Yeah, it? and I'm with Frankie Barber and Jonathan Forbes from Catastrophe, and he takes all his clothes off. Oh wow! Does he? And is he gorgeous? <laughs> <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs>